Roblox is loved by children all over the world. But many parents are concerned about their children's safety due to the social characteristic associated with it. Fortunately, Roblox is already on top and there are many parental controls that can be set up to help your child stay safe in this online environment. It will give you control of their game so you don't have to worry about what they are doing or who they might be talking to. In today's video, we are going to talk about the parental control settings present on Roblox. If you are a parent and your kids prefer playing games on Roblox, then make sure you watch this video right till the end. But before we jump into our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also turn on the bell notifications to receive our latest updates. The first step to access the parental control options is to click on the setting button in the upper right corner. It looks like a gear and can be accessed from any tab on the left side of the screen. You will always remain on the blue bar until you enter a game. Once you click on it, your child's account information will appear in front of you, including things like username, gender, and date of birth. When you will scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see a list of social networks and a place where your child can link their accounts to these social networking sites. The sites they can link to include Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and many more. While you can allow your kid's account to get linked to this platform as it can sometimes give them free bonuses, Fortunately, there's an option where you can make sure no one can see your kid's social media accounts and to prevent this from becoming a major problem. However, there is no way to disable in-game purchases in the game itself. So as a parent, you need to be sure to disable it on your own device if you think this will be an issue in the coming time. Once you read the main setting page, you will have to click on the tab on the left that is mentioned as security. This will give you a variety of options to choose from including controls to restrict your child's account. The options are two-step verifications, account pinned, account restrictions, and secure signout. Let's talk more about these specific options. Two-step verifications. Two-step verifications puts you in charge of the control on when your child can log into his Roblox account to play the game. This is a great security measure to make sure no one else can access your kid's account, especially if they don't yet understand what few outcomes it can lead up to. It makes such scenes that a code is emailed to you every time someone tries to log into a new device. Account Pin If you are planning to implement stricter parental controls and your child is against them, so you should consider adding an account pin. This means that every time you want to change a setting, you need to enter an appropriate four-digit pin. Just make sure you pick something a little harder than 1, 2, 3 on your favorite numbers, so they can't guess it on the first attempt. Account Restrictions There is an option to limit your child's accounts in terms of the games they can access. If you activate it, they will only be able to play children's games such as those games based on stories which are chosen by the staff of Roblox. Neither game has guns and focuses on less purple setting. It helps ensure they stay in other players in their age group and they aren't exposed to things that they may not be emotionally ready for. Safe Lockout The last options you have on this screen is a safe lockout, which will lock out your child out of all devices. This is a great tool to use if you think someone else has accessed your kid's account or if he has left the game on a community computer. The most important thing is to have a conversation with your child about online safety before letting him play, as this will make him distrust other players around him. However, parental controls exist for a reason and it is up to you to be responsible for your child's safety. And with that being said, it's time to bind up our today's video. What are your thoughts on Roblox? Do you allow your kids to use the gaming platform? Let us know in the comment sections below. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching.